Hi everyone, I'm Chad Shoup and welcome to my latest video of Quick Takes. This is a segment in my overall Bank It or Tank It series and I say that because if you leave me comments on my Bank It or Tank It videos or these Quick Take videos, all those stocks I keep and I look to feature them in one of these upcoming videos. So the main difference between my Quick Takes in Bank It or Tank it is that today we're just going to run through five stocks in just five minutes. So very fast, we're going to hit up these price charts and take a look at a few key levels on whether or not we want to bank on these stocks or tank them over the coming months. And today we got four stocks that we're going to bank on and one that's a tank. And before I dive in though, I just want to give you a chance to scroll right below this video, click subscribe so that way you don't miss out on any of my upcoming Bank It or Tank It videos, Quick Takes videos, or any other insights I post to YouTube. Just click subscribe so that way you'll get these videos when they're posted and be sure to leave me a comment. Like I mentioned, all my videos for this series, Bank It or Tank It, and these quick takes, everything comes from the comments that you all leave. So keep the comments coming. I really appreciate all the kind words that you're finding these helpful, that they're uh, finding key levels for you to track on the stocks that you want to take a look at. So keep sending me the companies that you want me to feature and I'll keep featuring them in the coming weeks. Big shout out today to Stacy and Brent. We're basically just covering their stocks because they had about five stocks or six stocks that they wanted me to take a look at. So we're going to go over those today and we're going to get started with Vuzix Corporation. This is our first stock on the list. And when we look at this chart, the key resistance level up here at the top is the only thing that I see so far that kind of concerns me because the latest rally that we had didn't quite get back above that, but we're clearly breaking out. The stock is clearly surging. It was less than a dollar a share. Then it shot up to more than $4. So it's definitely a stock on the move. It's surging higher and it just went a little too far too fast. We started to get the pullback and now I think it's a great opportunity. It's a bank it stock. This is a company that creates augmented reality glasses, virtual headsets, so they're really into this space that's going to be very prominent in the future. This is maybe a few years out still, but this is a stock that's helping drive that growth into these platforms that are going to become even more important, especially with the work from home shift that we've been seeing. So this is a stock that's going to stay around and I like it for the years to come. And I think that it's a stock that's on my bank it list today. Just keep in mind that this area down here, it can still pull back and hold up in this support line, even after falling to almost $3 a share. So we're gonna give it some wiggle room here to pull back and then ultimately turn higher. But overall, I think this is a bank it stock. I see it headed higher and it could be above $5 a share over the next 12 months with ease. So keep this one on your bank it list. Our next stop is Suro Capital. And this company is just an investment firm and one of their big holdings is nearing an IPO. That's the news that's been sending this stock higher over the last several weeks. And you can see that it was a massive breakout from basically a long-term wedge pattern that it was stuck in, had the big breakout out of that. But what I'm looking at lately, and one of the main reasons this is on my bank it list, is because once you get these big breakouts, when you get the consolidation, then it sets up for another massive breakout. And then it's consolidating like we have now with the wedge pattern. We have our clear support line in green, resistance in red, and I'm expecting it to break out even higher from here. It's near the support line, so it's a great opportunity to add positions on this stock. It's gonna be on my bank it list, and as long as it holds above this green support line, then we want to stay bullish and look for the breakout above the red resistance, which would then send the stock much higher, $16, $17 a share. We're going to see this stock continue to climb in the years to come. Our next company is, I don't know if I can say it right, it's Quateteo, and it's a Chinese stock. So these stocks have really been uncertain lately. And when you look at the price chart, it doesn't give you much to be bullish about. This is a stock clearly in a downtrend. So it's our one tank it stock today. Now they're in the industry of mobile content platforms for China. And this area has a lot of potential for growth in the years to come. So maybe it's not one that you take off your radar completely, but I'm a little uneasy about Chinese stocks right now. QTT is the symbol that we want to avoid for now because of this major downtrend. Now our next stock is a healthcare company, LHC Group, and they do in-home healthcare. So they're in an explosive industry that's really just going to continue to thrive. And when we look at the stock though, it represents that it's been surging higher over the last several months and it's up almost $200 a share and it's got a nice high green trend line that it's following and it can hold support here and continue to shoot higher. But when I wanted to pull up just one other indicator real quick, the RSI, the relative strength index. And when we look at this, it's just comparing the rate of change for the stock and we have 10 days. So over the last 10 days, and it's usually just used to point out extreme levels of overbought or oversold for the stock. But today I like to use it as a divergence indicator. And that's basically where you want to see if this confirms the move because it's making higher lows 
and the stock's making higher lows. So that was great. But then the recent pullback made a lower low on the RSI. So we're seeing some more selling pressure. And I think that's going to lead to a little bit more of an extended pullback. Now, this is a stock. It's on my bank list. It's got enormous growth potential in the coming years and even in the coming months. So it's one that's going to stay on my radar. And I want to own shares just maybe once it gets back above $200 a share. In the short term, that's where I would be buying. Now, our last stock is Ring Central. So this company basically redid to telecommunication process for a work environment. And our company uses it and it's been great. Just basically transforms everything from being tied to a desk to really adapt to the work from home to where it's all mobile, it's all streamlined and you can have it on your phone or wherever you want to where it's just easier to be connected when you're away from the office. And that's huge in a time like this. And I think it's gonna to continue to see a lot of growth because of that. And it's, when you look at the stock though, it's basically gone nowhere here over the last several months. Before the pandemic had to shut down and then it rallied, it's back to new highs, but now it's just really choppy. But it is a stock on my bank at list, so I'm expecting shares to go higher. We have this major support line here around $250 a share to keep an eye on. But as long as it stays above that, this is a stock I expect to go higher. It's in the middle of this range right now, but it's got momentum behind it. It's heading higher. So this is a stock that's on my bank at list, and I like it where it's sitting at today. I think it's going to continue to climb in the coming months. So that's all for my quick takes today, and I hope you enjoyed it. We looked at five stocks, four that we're banking on, one that's a tank. And remember, just make sure you click subscribe below so that way you get all my insights and follow me on Twitter. Leave me a comment. Let me know what stocks you want me to take a look at in the coming weeks, and I'll be sure to feature them in my upcoming video. Until next time, I'm Chat Shoot.